And now a word from the Geico Gecko. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh my God, it's the Geico Gecko. Snap, snap. Facebook, Facebook. People ask me all the time, they're like, what's it like to be the world's first animal superstar? I think of myself as like the Neil Armstrong of the animal kingdom. Except for instead of walking on the moon, it's like having sex with human beings. <laughs> Funny story. I actually thought I was the world's second animal superstar. Yeah, exactly, behind Babe the Pig. <laughs> Turns out, and I only say this because I'm in the biz, <laughs> Babe the Pig, not real. <laughs> it's a regular pig, and there's a human bloke that dubs over all the squeals. Are you titty-fucking me? <laughs> People ask me all the time, they're like, a, a bloke, just last week, he was like, I'm going to try to do his accent, but I'm terrible with accents. He was like, what are you going to do next? Like, what's your next big project? That impression was actually quite good. It sounded just like him. <laughs> I was like, thank you for asking. Steven Spielberg is doing a remake of a classic, Jurassic Park. <laughs> so he's asked me to sign on. I can't exactly say who I'm going to play, but I'll give you a hint. Rar. So yeah, it's good, things are good, you know, things, they get weird. People be like, how do you know so much about car insurance? And I usually lie. <laughs> Tell them that growing up, my first two loves are acting and indemnity. <laughs> so what do you want me to say? I'm a gecko, my brain literally can't comprehend the concept of car insurance. <laughs> Last week, someone asked me, they said, I want to grow up to be just like you. What do I have to do? I told him, but, but you just met me. And he said, yeah, but I've seen you on television and I feel like I know you. I said, you know what you see on television, on stage, you know, it's not exactly real, it's a performance. And he looked at me, he said, do that. I'm a gecko, not geico thing, I love that. <laughs> and it made me so happy. <laughs> you know, this fear one day I'm gonna walk into a room and, and no one's gonna care whether I stay or I leave. You know, it's like some, fear of being forgotten, but, but not anymore. Because now you know you, you type my name into the internet, you know, and, and there I am, you know, and that is proof that I existed. That is proof that I existed. But there's a strange loneliness about standing in front of a room full of people you never met and pretending so deeply that people stop believing in the real person. But somehow, I keep finding myself here <laughs> 